Hello and crap. What the hell? Okay, screw the. All right, welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker. Where's that stupid shark? Last time we got the last two Triforce charts. Now I'm at an undisclosed location to get them deciphered. Where might that be? Let's ask the fish man. We are at Tingle Island. Yes, Tingle gets his own island to be annoying on this game. Um, let me see here. Ah. And also, this is where you're kind of required to warp to in order to get to the Forsaken Fortress. Because you can't warp to Mother and Child Islands on the outside. You can only get into the inside, and there is a blue choo-choo over here by the sign. Give me the... Oh, I got him all? Have I been here? On camera? I don't remember. Anyway... If you climb up this ladder... Tingle's up here along with two lackeys who look exactly like him. But if you talk to Tingle... Oh, Mr. Fairy! I've been longing to see you, sir! What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? Mm hmm? That friggin' musty scent! Sir! You have found a chart! Splendid! Splendid! Show me! Show me! Why, you can't read that chart in its current state? Impossible, sir! Would you like me to decipher it for you? For 398 rupees? Sure. Tingle, tingle, kululumpa! Become readable! Um. But yeah, it's the exact same thing with all eight, so I'm just gonna fast forward until the end. Alright, that is all A that took forever and drained me of all my money, but... Oh well. And now we can go to charts and open up the charts and see where each one is. This is actually something I haven't shown yet, is the treasure charts and Triforce charts are technically treasures, but... Um, you can... Go to the treasure chart and then select which island it's at. By the way, our first chart one is at Great Fish Island. Go to where the chart shows an X and just pull it up with your grappling hook. I'm going to go to Great. I'm going to do all eight in order. So Great Fish is our first stop. Also, once you've opened the chart, um, can't see it right now. Let's just get the grip. You can, if you see that tall column of light 
that is actually where the Triforce Shard is. Um, unlike most light rings, if you get close, if you get too close, it actually disappears rather quickly. Um, we're not close enough yet. And then if you look closely, you can actually see where I am right now with the little, you know, triangle. Um, a little more over. Let's see. That should be good. And it's just like any treasure chest on the bottom of the ocean. Hey, I didn't get it wrong this time. Once I actually got the slightly off and pulled up a random pot. But that is our first Triforce Shard. You need seven more to complete the Triforce of Courage. Alright, second one is at Gale Island. So let's head up there now. Again, the fastest way to get to Gale Island is just to warp to Windfall and head north. And once again, I, I'm i just going against what I've said about not fast traveling. I'm not going to do it at all in Oblivion. Um, whether or not I fast... Or, whether or not I cut or just fast forward, I haven't decided yet. Let's make this a little faster, shall we? But yeah, I'm a little tired still right now. I spent a six hour drive going across the state and then another six heading back after a little camping trip. That's why I didn't upload last Thursday or Friday. Um, it was fun, really, really hot though. And on the way back, someone, like, drove off the road uh, going across the pass. So that was fun to experience, going past. It was like, really, guys? Uh. Alright. So, apparently YouTube had a little bit of trouble updating the... Ooh, money. I'm actually getting this. I'm trying to vol money right now. Apparently YouTube had some problems with the upload, or the view count updating thing. So basically for me, my videos went from zero views to zero views. And then when it got fixed, it went to zero views. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, nice. That was worth it. Um. Alright, the light beam should be appearing soon. There it is. But... Yeah, I nearly nearly killed myself on a jet ski. That was fun. Had my first Miami bus. Hello, I'm in the wrong spot. <laughs> if you don't... Whoa, look at the tiller. It's moving on its own. If you don't know what a Miami Vice is, it's basically a strawberry daiquiri with some coconut mixed in. It's actually rather good. Uh, my One of my friends kind of described it as a dangerous drink. He'd, he can finish three and not realize it. Alright, that's two. Um, number three is that Stonewatcher Island. Where was that again? Um, right. So let's head back down to Great Fish. 
Uh, or I could even head to a southern ferry, but now oh, what the hell? We've been to been to Greyfish Island already. Um. But yeah, like, I actually did flip a sea -doo, and my girlfriend just kept giving me crap about it, and then the next, like, next thing I know, she's like, but the cold water did feel good. I'm like, then why are you complaining that I, ah. Um... But yeah, it's the first time I've been camping in, like, three or four years. I... The last time I went, I broke out in a huge rash from the heat. And spent half the trip in misery. Uh, this time I, I still got a rash, but it didn't develop until about the day before I left, so... It wasn't too bad. I'm still a bit itchy, but... Oh well. My ear got sunburnt to hell. <laughs> that was fun. Uh, let me see. Yep. Alright. Um, da -da -da -da. Man, it feels like we're going like two miles an hour. But yeah, it turns out that ski goggles work really well on a jet ski if you wear glasses. Because, like, the wind, just from going that fast, would, like, force my eyes closed. But then I put a pair of ski goggles on, and why is it getting stormy? Uh, a pair of ski goggles. I haven't gone skiing in, like, Eight years. Oh, please be close enough. Please be close enough. No. Why am I not turning? No, get back. But yeah, I like I could see clearly even in the bright sun and going 55 miles an hour. And let me tell you, going over a wake at 50 miles. Oh man, that is an adrenaline rush. Alright, we have three pieces now. Uh, uh, do, 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 do. Next one is at Outset Island. Whoa. Uh, quite a few of where the charts are actually lines up where with where you get a chart. Um, there aren't any where you actually get the piece where you get the chart. But I'm pretty sure there's some treasures that are like that. But that's coming up later. I'm gonna be doing all of those here. Looks like backside of the island. But I'm gonna be doing all of the islands, like all the things you can get there, all the things you can do. Gonna be recording all that and then re uploading that separate from the finale of the game, which is actually coming up really soon. I'm also going to be completing the figurines and showing you all the things you can get separately and then describing like the hard to find ones. Um, almost there. Come on. A little further. 
Thank you. But the only thing that I didn't get to do that I was kind of looking forward to was go fishing. You know? I like to fish. I mean, I, mean, I suck at it, but it's so fun. Alright, we're halfway there. Um, next one is at a place we have not been to yet. Called Cliff Plateau Isles. It's actually just to the northeast of ah, get what is of Forest Haven. Actually, just to the west, one square. I mean east. Get dang it! I cannot think today, can I? Also, just before I started this whole thing, um, like before I started recording this episode, I filled up my inventory with bait so that I'd have enough. We actually don't have that many islands left, which is kind of odd, I think. Well, luckily so far I haven't had any issues with Audacity freezing on me and losing minutes of audio. I know, that doesn't sound like much. There's the light beam. We're on number five. And I'm actually going to talk to Fishman first. Just so that I can line it up a little easier. I almost feel like just playing the sun song. I mean, not the sun song, but the song of passing. You know? Do do do! Wait, we fuck. Wouldn't it we get a complete line? Huh, he's talking about Lintanoga. Ah. Yeah, we've got a complete line here. That, that's entertaining. Oh, also, if you... One thing I forgot to mention. If you look at the right-hand side of the screen, where you see charts, zoom one, return the number of charts, number of treasures, and what kind of treasure on that island. If you zoom in, you can see where the treasure was found. So... That's a bit of... Not really helpful, but... Oh well. Oh hell, I forgot there's sharks here. Uh... Please be it, please be it, please be it. Come on, come on. Yay. Come on. Yay. Um, all right, that's number five. Number six is that Southern Triangle Island. So let's get away from these sharks, shall we? Let me see here. Uh, right. Yeah, it should just be right up there. Why am I so horrible with remembering where stuff is? Alright. Just north.
Man, I'm actually running out of things to say. Don't know why. Well, now I don't have to play the Song of Passing. That's for sure. Wait a minute, where is it? Ha! Ah. Alright, next up is another new island. What the hell are you doing way out here? Oh! Do not start this again. Boom. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, go down, yay. Thank you. Alright, this is piece number six. Number seven. Kind of entertainingly, it's at a place called Seven Star Isles. Um. We haven't been there quite yet. We've been close, though. It's just north. Come here. Of Dragon Roost Island. Um, one, once we're there, I'm going to be getting the thing, the, ah, the chart information for it. And you'll see why it's called Seven Star Islands. Whoa, 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 do not crash into the aisle. That's it in the distance there. Ah, uh, yeah, better get bait ready. Wait a minute. Just one second. Sorry about that. Just counting how many islands left and how much bait I need. I actually have one unit of bait extra. Which is actually rather entertaining to me. Alright. I'm not sure if I've explained this little minigame, but you fly through the flags and then you go over to the barrels to collect rupees. I was about to call them coins. Hey, at least I didn't call them caps, right? Oh, and speaking... I think... I think I mentioned Oblivion in this one. But for my LP of Oblivion, since it's my first Xbox LP, I'm gonna be doing... it with... Fr pretty much from scratch. So you're going to be seeing all the achievements you can get along the way. And I forget the fish man. Get the thing freaking frack. Get the. But yeah, I actually tested out a theory last night. It held true. All right. Or seven Star Isles. It is seven islands arranged like the Big Dipper. Um, there's a big octo off the somewhere on this island. You know what? I'm taking care of these guys first. I, st I don't get why that happens. Come on. I'm not hitting that guy. Oh. No, 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 no. Stop it. Whoa. That was a dumb move. <laughs> Did I just shoot his cannonball thing? I don't know. 
but anyway. Alright. No, 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 no. Stop it. There it is. Oh, another thing about Seven Star Isles. This is one of three island groups that has multiple unlandable islands to it that are shaped like a star system. The other two are Five Star, which looks like Cassiopeia, and Star Belt Archipelago, which looks like... Okay, I can't think today. Looks like Orion. There you go. Also, Seven Star Island Isles is the only one that does not get visited by the ghost ship. Alright, the last piece of the Triforce is at Tuai Reef, which... I... Yep. Which is over there still. So I'm just gonna... For the first time in forever how... Forever. I'm gonna fast forward. So... See you guys over there. This is to our reef. We've been here before to rescue a great fairy. Um, here's the thing about reefs. They are rather dangerous. But the danger is worth it. Each one has a reward if you can destroy all the cannon boats and cannons. So that's one of the things I'm going to be covering. Alright, now that we've gotten all eight pieces of the Triforce, they fuse together into the Triforce of Courage. Well done, Bubba. With the shards you have collected, the Triforce of Courage is now complete at last. We must make for Hyrule quickly. Um, but actually, before we head up there, I'm going to be recording all the side stuff to be uploaded after the main quest. So... See you guys later.